Hey Google, why is it so dark? Puny human, I always forget you don't have night vision. Go get an upgrade. PSPC Master Race Forever. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a few smart home products that can be easily set up and work together to build up your smart home setup. Hope you enjoy. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a few different smart home products and we'll attempt to implement them in one smart home setup. So we have the Amazon Alexa, the Google Home, smart lights from eLight, smart switches from s -On -Off, and Xiaomi's own smart home kit. And the devices we have on hand can be easily set up to work together. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay, except the Xiaomi Smart Home Kit. Okay, how will we actually be able to use the Home Kit with these devices? Can we connect it directly to the Amazon Alexa? That's a no. Okay, can we connect it to the Google Home? That's a no also. Can we connect it to the Smart Switch? No can do. Okay, we are left only with the lights. Can we at least connect to them? Okay, so at least we can connect the home kit with the lights directly. But by doing so, we will lose the functionality of controlling nope. the lights via Amazon Alexa or Google Home. Okay, so if the home kit isn't compatible with the other devices, how can we use them in our home setup? Well, that will be done with the help of a service called Ift. If this then that. Nice. So, even though that we'll be connecting the HomeKit to our smart home setup, it's not gonna be perfect. Unfortunately, the communication will be only one way. We'll not be able to get the full functionality from the HomeKit. And to do so, we will require an additional device like a smartphone or a tablet that is always connected to the internet. So from here on, we have to set up each device in the specific app. Once we've set up the lights, the Amazon Alexa, the Google Home, the home kit and the smart plug we check that everything's working and ready to be integrated with amazon alexa and google home so once we're ready we head to the google home app click on home controls and to add devices we hit the plus button once we're there, we are greeted with a long list of support partners and we search until we find the e-light, which is quite at the bottom. Once we've selected it, it will ask us to share our account with the Google Home so it can control our connected devices. Once that is done, we basically have to do the same setup with the smart plug. Once we've added all of our devices that we want to be controlled by Google Home, we have availability to sign them to specific rooms. Once we finish sharing the devices with the Google Home, we have to do the same thing with the Amazon Echo. The thing that stands out here is that the Amazon Echo has a way nicer application than the Google Home. When you want to connect a service with Amazon, you actually have a nice search bar, which makes it a bit easier than going through a long list. Another nice feature that this app has over the Google Home app is once we've connected all of our devices, we can control them from this single app. But as we'll see a bit later in the video, Google Home has its own features as well. Once we've shared the plug and lights with the Amazon Alexa, we are left with integrating the HomeKit. As previously mentioned, this will be done with the help of the Ift service. Even though we won't be able to integrate its full functionality with our other devices, it's still possible to use it via its own app, which Actually, the HomeKit is quite a nice device since it has a very nice LED ring around it. It can be used as a home alarm, as a doorbell, even as an internet radio receiver. But since it's intended only to be used in China, the internet radio will be Chinese. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the setup first of the door sensor. So the idea behind it is to set up the sensor. Once it detects the door being open, a notification will be sent from the Xiaomi Mi Home app to Ift 
and that will trigger my lights in the hallway to turn on. And the same process will be done for the motion sensor. The idea here is to set up the motion sensor. Once it detects no movement for two minutes, it will also send a notification to F to trigger the lights turning off. As mentioned before, this method will require an always on device. I'm currently using my phone since it's always connected to the internet. Meaning that if for some reason my phone dies or loses connection to the internet, this functionality will be temporarily unavailable. So once we finish with the setup, let's see if it works. And it works. So. As I mentioned, the idea here is once I come home and open the door, the lights in the hallway will switch on. And once I'm out of the hallway, if the sensor sees for two minutes there hasn't been any movement, it will shut the lights off. Now that we've connected all the devices, let's see a few things that we can do with this setup. We have the availability to control all of our lights via voice commands. We can do things like switch them on, switch them off, change color and dim them. Also, we can do some small and novel things like ask uh, the assistance for the weather. Unfortunately, since Amazon Echo is mainly designed to be used in countries like the US, Germany or the UK, location-based services like weather and traffic reports are unavailable for me currently located in Bulgaria. What's the weather? Right now in Milner, it's 18 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast has lots of clouds, with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. But this is not an issue for the Google Home, since it shares correct weather and traffic reports with me for my location. What's the weather? Right now in Sofia, it's 19 degrees and clear. The forecast for tonight is 18 and clear. And if you have an Android Smart TV, you can get additional functionality via the Amazon Alexa and Google Home. As you can see, I'm currently rocking one of the latest and greatest Smart TVs from LG. Maybe smartphone was on YouTube on TV. Alright, play me Smartphone Wars from YouTube on TV. Stop! But while the Google Home has a nice functionality integration with Android TVs, it makes a misstep here or there. Open Netflix on TV. Try saying that again, but include the name of the program you'd like to watch. Play That 70s Show on Netflix on TV. Sure, That 70s Show from Netflix. Play it on TV. Sorry, I can't play Netflix on Android TV yet. Try using your Android TV remote instead. While we don't get the same functionality from the Amazon Alexa, there's still a few tricks up its sleeve. Since Amazon has been longer on the market, it has integration with partners that Google has yet to implement, like one of my favorite ones, integration with Plex Media Server. Open Plex. Welcome back to Plex. What would you like to do? You can say things like suggest something to watch, or play some music. Suggest something to watch. How about a recent addition to your TV library? Would you like me to put on an episode of Helsing Ultimate? Yes, please. Okay, enjoy Season 2 Episode 65 of Helsing Ultimate, Episode 65, on TV. Ask Plex to stop. Okay, goodbye. 
Now that we've seen a few of the things we can do with this setup, let's try to make a few of these things feel a bit more automated. Okay, so if we head back to the Google Home app, we see the routines tab. Here we have a few predefined routines that Google has made available for us to use. What this allows us to do is to trigger multiple actions at once with one trigger phrase. As we can see, the routines made available are good morning, bedtime, leaving home, I'm at home, I'm home, commuting to work, commuting to home. They have the availability to be customized, but only up to a certain point. Going into the routines, we see that they give us options like take my phone off silent, adjust lights, plugs, tell me about the weather, tell me about my commute, tell me about my calendar and so on. Additionally, at the bottom we see that we have additional media controls. We can play a specific playlist, song, podcast, radio or news which will trigger alongside the other devices that we've set to engage with this routine. Good night. Okay, let's get ready for bed. In Sofia tomorrow, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a high of 25 and a low of 11. There's nothing on your calendar for tomorrow. What time should I set the alarm for? 7.30 a.m. Done, your alarm set for tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Good night, Paristo. Another way for you to control your devices via Google Home are through shortcuts. With shortcuts, you can shorten some actions or even combine up to two separate actions at once. So instead of asking Google to play you a specific long named playlist and turning on a fan or a light, you can combine those two actions in one trigger phase. I want to chill. While the same functionality is not yet made available for the Amazon Echo, we have a different function that the Google Home lacks. That is, we can set specific time routines, meaning that once we set up the routine, it can automatically trigger when the time comes for it. Which the difference here between the Amazon Echo and the Google Home is that once you get up in the morning with Google Home, you have to specifically trigger that routine. While with the Amazon Echo, you can trigger it automatically when you set a time. Welcome home, the cat slept all day and is ready to be fed. Right now in Milner, it's 11 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same with a high of 19 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. Well, that will be for today's video. Hope you might have found it enjoyable, useful, or somewhat interesting. I'm always on the lookout for any new interesting products that can be used in home automation or uh, just interesting in general. And as soon as I find something, I'll be sharing that with you. If you have any questions regarding the setup, please don't hesitate to ask them down in the comments. And if need be, a more detailed video can be done about this setup. Until next time, wish you all the best.